everyone, welcome back to another Parts Factory Australia installation tutorial video. Guys, we're working on this 2011 to 2015 Ford Focus. We're going to be changing that little hose that runs from the bottle to the thermostat housing and the radiator. So it's, it branches off into like a little tree. Super common, they crack, split, obviously leak. Coolant systems need to be pressurized. So of course, if the car gets hot and it's got a crack in it, it leaks and yeah, that's obviously not gonna be good news. Guys, if you do need this part, don't forget, link in the description of the video. It'll pop down, order it, get it into your hand, save yourself some money by installing it yourself. We're gonna complete this job in about 15 minutes. That's happy days all around. Alrighty guys, let's jump straight into it. Alrighty guys, this is our hose here that we're replacing. As you can see, um, it's just basically a little butterfly clips. Now, before we get started, make sure that the car isn't pressurized. Obviously mine's nice and cool sitting overnight, but if you've just driven yours, let it sit for an hour before pulling that cap off. Then you can just grab these little clips and just kind of wiggle it out nice and slow. Might need to use two hands. Just grab that and then yeah, there you go there. And it just pops out like there. Uh, you can see this little seal here is in good condition. Yours might not be, but good news is the new hose will come with a replacement O-ring. So you can just pull the hose out like this. You can see how it kind of just pops in and out of little clips. One, two, there's actually one down there that it sits in, but I'd already removed that. And then basically the hose routes around, comes around, keeps coming, and then it goes into an area there you can't see because of this cover. So naturally the next step is to find a place to hang your torch, set your wrench into loosen, I'm gonna pull this cover off. Alrighty guys, so if you keep tracking the hose, you'll see that it comes around this bend and then it goes straight down in there. You see that little uh, pipe there? Just like that. Uh, the, the, see that hose clamp on the right? If you've got a long pair of pointy nose pliers, you can depress that uh, hose clamp. It'll clip into place. And then we're gonna squeeze that out, hopefully without removing any of this madness. It would be good if we could just get in there and remove it without removing this, but we'll give it a try, eh? Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna bring this pair of pliers down into this hole here, um, and then just crimp down on that hose clamp, if I can. Yeah, so you can see it'll crimp, and then you just pull that clamp backwards like so. Now just at this point, you wanna be careful not to break the nipple on this housing. If you break the nipple, this job's gonna turn from a 15 minute job into a three hour job. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this little hose just to the side, just so we can get in there a bit better. You come down onto the clip or to the hose and you just crimp down gently. See if you can give it a wiggle, like not up and down, you wanna be going left and right, if you know what I mean? You wanna be like rotating the actual hose because it'll free it up a bit. Problem is I'm not getting much rotation, but it looks to be that it's not seized on. So at this point, you can just grab the hose and hopefully we can just gently pull it off the housing. Maybe, maybe not. We'll give it another try. Two hands this time. See, there it comes there. So it's just popped off like that. So we're gonna bring it around. Uh, actually, we're just gonna leave it there for a second because the second one I'll show you now, if you have a look through the headlight area. Yeah, so you see that hose just there? It's the same thing as the bottle, guys. It's a butterfly clip. So you just depress down those tabs and pull it off that radiator. Um, and then that will actually be hose off. I'm just gonna spend a few minutes working out how to get in there quick and easiest. Alrighty guys, so instead of removing all this in order to get to that little uh, butterfly clip, we quickly realized it's gonna be much easier to remove the headlight. And don't let that scare you. It's just two bolts and it literally just pops forward. Would you look at that? And that's because the bottom is held in clip style. One, two, etc., etc. So that's actually really good news. So you can actually just let that headlight kind of rest there. And now just look straight through the side. Boom, look at that. Same thing again as your bottle. Maybe two hands once again. Actually quite a sticky little thing. And you see how that is now 
come off and you can actually grab both ends or all three ends, feeding them through here, pulling it all the way along. Bob's your uncle. Alrighty guys, so cruise over to your big pile of them. And obviously we're gonna grab our new one. They do come with new hose clamps and new hose, of course new O-rings on each alligator or butterfly clip and whatnot. So yeah, obviously we're gonna chuck that on and hopefully that gets you out of trouble. So we're gonna go the exact same way, but in reverse. So you just feed it through here and then we'll just get it to where it's back up in our hand like this. And then you want to like angle it the correct way because remember this goes over that direction. So we'll pull it through to the point where everything seems to be lining up. But I want to also hold the radiator side so that this side comes through, but this side, the radiator side doesn't. And let's clip that in now so it's done and we can forget about that. There should be an audible click. There you go. See how it's actually makes that click noise. And until that, she ain't done properly. Then you can grab your headlight, raise your headlight back into place. And it should self center because of, because it's a clip style headlight. Again, you got your little screw here. One and two over here. Now this doesn't have to be that tight. Don't like over tighten it to the point where it cracks your headlights casing. Whoops. Just hand tight, no rattle guns, etc. One and two. Hand tight and then wash up. Guys, you've got grease and oil everywhere from all over your hands. Alrighty guys, it's now time to do our secondary little hose here. Now that goes under this ho this intake tube, tucks over, and then you can just reach through, see my hand, and of course, putting it back onto that little uh, thermostat housing tube. Again, you don't wanna be snapping that plastic tube off, so this is a critical moment, probably the most critical. Nice pair of pliers, heaps of space. You don't wanna be rushing this. You wanna squeeze together, drag it up and over, and a nice firm plant and then that is it guys the rest is pretty self or straightforward you come over here to your tank don't forget these clip in all the way along keeping it nice and neat etc clip in and then an audible click again boom there it is there popping it back into its little supporting clips all the way along and then cover on. We'll start her up, fill her up with coolant and voila. Alrighty guys, so you gotta line up these three grommets to these three posts. Then you can just bring the, uh, the engine cover over, line it up where you think. Obviously this, having this oil cap in the center is a good start. Pop this back one in and then line up this little 10 mil like so and then the other two will self line you can lower this little 10 mil in. If you can, do it with a magnet stick, because if you can't, if you don't get it the first time, then you gotta bring it back out, and it can be a bit of a pain. I'll go grab my magnet stick. Alrighty guys, so once you've got it all lined up, obviously, tighten it up like that. Not too tight, it, otherwise it'll crack everything. Um, but other than that, it's now time to put coolant in the tank. So, you can, you can start this uh, focus up, run it, get it to like, you know, run it for like 30 seconds, then begin to top it up because your thermostat will open and all the water will suck around. It's gonna go from max to min a few times as all the air comes out of the system. And then obviously, once you've got it sitting there at max comfortably, put your cap on, take it for a drive, bring it back, let it cool down, see what, uh, what level it's at. Again, if it's low, as you can imagine, top it up, but don't forget, it's gonna be hot, so wait for it to cool down before you do so. But other than that, guys, that's exactly how to replace it as quick as possible, as I promised. If you can, give the video a thumbs up. If you are doing your own DIY repairs in the future, subscribe to the channel. It's a great channel to have in your toolkit, especially if you need cheap parts as well, because obviously we got that hookup. Alrighty, guys, my name's Lucas. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.